Have you ever been at the point in your life where you just say, what am I doing? Where am I going? Why am I going in this direction? And why can't I stop? Why can't I turn around? Why can't I uh, stop this useless, unnecessary activity and begin again? Well, today, this week, you may be at a point like that in your life, in some small area, I pray, or maybe it's a large area of your life. From whatever point you are experiencing your life right now, you can make a positive move toward greater fulfillment with God's help. God can redirect you, tweak your life, so that you are on a new path. Whatever type of person you now seem to be, you can begin to grow into the person that God created you to be. And why not make this week that kind of week to express that change, to allow the change to become you? to allow God to come through you and guide you. You are not bound, my friend, by any thought or response because you can have new thoughts and new responses to life. You can choose a new pattern of thinking and acting that will bring you greater joy and inner peace. If you're not happy with the way that you have reacted in some circumstance, you have the power with God to change your behavior. You have an inner spark of divinity, the spiritual you that has been created in the image and likeness of God. It is the perfection of this God-likeness that you wish to express in your activity and actions. You turn to God and you ask God for help and you will receive through you, through your mind, an inner guidance so that you are able to be empowered by God to speak and to act and to think in a positive way. And you're able then to follow a higher calling, to move at a comfortable pace, and to move constantly in a positive direction. I pray with you that this is the week of making those positive directions become you.